This video will continue exploring ways to use Amplitube in the audio bus environment, where Amplitube's versatile feature set makes it useful in so many ways. We'll start out with GarageBand in AudioBus's output slot and Amplitude in the input. We'll be recording the project into GarageBand, and we'll use Amplitude not only for guitar and bass amps and effects, but for drum sounds too. I'll start by recording a short funk beat from Amplitude's Loop Drummer module. I'll create an audio recording track in GarageBand to record the drums onto. There you see the meters in GarageBand's audio recorder window. Notice that I have the effects setting on dry because I want the drums to sound natural. To get the bass signal into the iPad, I'll use iRig Stomp, the first Stompbox style interface for iOS. I'll set Amplitube on a bass patch. Here goes. Now I'll add a guitar part, also through iRig Stomp. I'll set my sound up on Amplitude, and here we go. All three of those instrument parts use sounds from Amplitude. The synth is Enlog Synth Pro, and I've also got IK's sample tank in an input slot. I'm using Magellan in the effects slot for real-time processing and recording to Amplitude. I'll get the drums going in sample tank, and I'm going to do some real-time effects processing in Magellan. I'll add some flanger. And some beat sync delay. You can perform on the effects in real time. Meanwhile, I'm recording it all in Amplitude. With Audio Bus and Amplitude together, the sky's the limit. 